Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000. Tonight, on Late Night in the Shop, you've probably seen from the title, we're going to be putting new mantles on these Coleman lanterns I, lanterns I have here. So, stay tuned. I know most of you know how to do it, but some of you may not. It's really easy. Check it out. Okay guys, so what we have here, we have of course two Coleman lanterns. This is the one I've got with the um, with the tents. This one here is one that Monkey's had for a while. Uh, neither one of them has been used very much. They're real similar, but this one has an igniter in it. So we're going to talk more about these later. This one here is a dual fuel. See that? And I'll explain that to you here in a minute. But first, let's change these mantles over. And by the way, it is... Come on. I don't know if you can see. There it is. 12.40 a.m. Alright. So, let's go ahead and let's get started on this one here. All right, like I said, it's really easy. First thing you want to do, well, let's go ahead and open this up. There should be four in here. I've got another pack in there, but I believe there's four of them in here, which is enough to do both. They both have uh, the uh, two mantle. These are called mantles. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, I already know how to do that. Well, okay, but some people don't. And they may want to learn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this top off of here. Uh, this one I think he said was only used one one camping season or whatnot. See, he's got a little hanger on it. Um, <clears throat> but take this off. Be careful of these. These these things used to be like four or five dollars now they're like six to ten dollars they make different sizes so just take this off of here Get all this stuff off okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna take this behind you and I'm gonna blow it out with compressed air Okay, so there you go. Right, let's move this over here so we don't lose it. It's off of here. <clears throat> now, there's instructions on here as well to show you how you do it. You just tie it on. Of course, there's warnings. So, just tie it on the best you can. Just tie it in a knot. Okay, and then uh, what it says is to... Of, these are just warnings so um, you want to light it always light and use lantern outdoors of course so but anyway I want to talk about these now a lot of guys they'll go ahead and put these on and then just light them right up but when I was growing up when we used lanterns the old timers always told us when you change them mantles, light them up and let them burn first. And when I do that, they seem to last a lot longer. And sometimes I've had them actually just fall apart like this as soon as I lit them. Now, so I guess that would be just a matter of preference. But I've, I've always had good luck with lighting them up first on. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Okay, and then it says, of course, to trim these. All right, trim these. Now, I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in a little closer for you on that. Uh... See, that's what... See these ridges? This ridge, this like indentation here. Looks like a car wheel without a tire. 
I should have worn my wireless mic and I know you can hear the fan behind me guys but it's very hot it actually got up to what was it 93 today and the real feel was a hundred and eight I do believe so just tie these on here real real good and then just trim them off which I just sharpened these scissors so they're doing pretty good um, life hack you want to sharpen these scissors cut up some sandpaper 10 12 times sharpen them right up alright let's back you out I'm gonna light this up and I'm gonna have to turn the fan away from us I know you guys won't mind but I will I'm already sweating okay now this is what I was talking about the um, it's got a uh, little flint in it kind of like a um, like a lighter doesn't seem to be working it might need flint we'll have to let's check this out and see if it does I have some flint I just gotta find it <laughs> I don't like turning these up like this a lot of times just like with your lighter you can turn it around backwards and stick it in there and try it and then you know it'll pull down out of the way there Let's There it goes. Alright, cool. I guess it's kind of left handed. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lighter here and we'll light it at the bottom. And I'm just going to let them burn until they quit burning on their own. Yes, it has a funny smell. It has a little smoke, but, you know, if you do this outside, guys, it's not going to kill you. You'll be fine. This is what creates the light. Because what it does is it burns down to this charcoal stuff here. And it glows. There we go. And then just to make sure I got it all, I'll light it down here some more. There we go. And it looks like it should be ready. So let's go ahead and we'll put our globe on. Like this. Put our little top on. Now these things don't have to be super duper dino whopping tight either guys just um just make them snug i mean you want to be able to to turn that a little bit okay so all right there is lighting instructions on this well it says read instructions carefully yes it's got instructions on it right here it tells you how to light it so but the first thing that you do is you normally you take this okay you there's closed you open it like one turn just like that there's a little hole here set a little hole okay like I said you just um, just take this I just always go quarter turn it's fine you put your hole your thumb over that hole and you pump this 30 times okay now I have already done that because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me pumping up a lantern but I'm going to give it a few more pumps just for good measure push it down then close it and then turn it on and you'll hear the gas now let's light it there we go 
gets me every time. And there it is. And then it says after you light it, you're going to want to pump this a few more times. You'll feel it building up pressure. It's not going to blow up on you guys. Just like that. Now, let's shut these lights off. And let me get the big light. There we go. There's the light it puts out. Here, I'll take you back here and show you. Here, let's shut this off for a second here. And there you go. Gives off, gives off some good light. Okay, so, now, yes, you can use these in tents, and you can use them in houses. But I got three words for you. Ventilation, ventilation, ventilation. Okay, because that is burning a gas. It's burning a, a petroleum-based product. So, you are naturally going to want to ventilate. Okay, so... Now there's that one. So that igniter works pretty good. Pull this down here so it don't get as hot if you got to relight it. So, and they burn for quite a while. It's a lot cheaper than the propane ones, though the propane ones are more handy. But these these are more efficient, I guess you could say, because they don't um, they don't burn as much propane, and you get more when you buy a gallon of this stuff, which I'm going to get to. Here in just a minute, and you can turn it way down, and um, you can get different mantles that kind of create a different glow, and that will shut off in one to two minutes. Okay, now let's get this one here out here for us. Now this one is a Coleman dual fuel. Okay, I'm gonna get to get to what that means here in just a minute. First. Let's go ahead. Now I know this works too because I have had it lit up. That's how I knew it needed mantles. Um, I think it's actually been used more than the other one. This one has a case to it. The other one does not. And this is just... Uh, It just sits in there like that, okay? I'm going to take this off the same way. See, someone didn't trim these ones. You should always trim them. Okay? Now, again, I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to blow it off real quick. Okay, now let's get our mantles out here. Oh shit, I thought I forgot to hit record. Oh man. I screwed up my day. Be careful when you wash these because these break very easily, especially when they're hot. Don't bump them around. <laughs> okay, because they will crack. Like I said, they're pretty pricey for what they are. You know, just a just piece of glass, really. Okay. Now, this one, like I said, it says dual fuel. I said, I get to it, we're to it. All right, that means you can burn Coleman fuel, which is also known as white gas. And you can buy it in gallon cans online, or you can also buy them, uh, Walmart sells them. This one is called a dual fuel. Because this one, you can also run unleaded fuel in. It looks like that might be what was run in it. Okay. Because it it's a gasoline. Okay. Unleaded gasoline you can run in this. It does put off more smoke and more fumes. So really, if you burn this inside, if you need light inside your house, like I said, ventilation. If you need heat or light in your tent, ventilation now in all actuality 
The other one's a dual fuel too. Anything that takes a liquid gas, like that stove, the uh, that stove we we checked out, that green stove, you can burn unleaded fuel in them. You can burn unleaded anything that takes a fuel, a liquid fuel. You can you can run. Well, I'm talking like lantern wise. You can run unleaded fuel in it. And I'm guessing that's what this one had in it. Now it does not burn as clean as white gas, as Coleman fuel. Um, but it is a hell of a lot cheaper, you know, for by the gallon. So if, especially like if you're just mostly going to be using this for catfishing at night. Yeah, get you a gallon of unleaded fuel. That's what I've got in this. And I've run in, I've run them in these before without any issues everybody says yeah but it's very highly flammable it's volatile yes it is but so is the Coleman fuel it's white gas and it's called white gas for a reason because it's it's really a type of gasoline now, I did an experiment several years ago not really an experiment but a buddy of mine said you cannot run that that Coleman fuel in an engine in an internal combustion engine I told him to go buy me a gallon and I'll prove him wrong and I said if it don't run I'll pay you back for the gallon. I dumped it in my Sears Craftsman garden tractor. Fired right up and we rode that thing around till it ran out of fuel. It didn't run any better but it didn't run any worse. It wasn't more efficient but it wasn't less efficient. It ran the same. Now that's a garden tractor. But again, that costs a, you know, that's so expensive. So yes, you can burn. And someone had the globe one upside down. Hate that. But you can burn unleaded fuel in the other one with no problems. Um, I've I've run unleaded fuel in them lanterns before. And never had an issue. You just have to be careful. But like I said, with the Coleman fuel, same thing. You have to be careful because it's just as volatile as gasoline. It just, you know, you gotta you will have to take your tubes out and clean it more often depending on how often you use it. If if you use it once or twice a year, it's no big deal. But if you're using it every weekend, and you're using it for a few hours every weekend or whatever. A couple times a year you're going to have to take them tubes out and clean them out. Clean your, you know, it's no big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's light this one up. Like I said, I've already pumped these up. So. i close it. Let's light this one. There you go. Move that away from my light. I'll be fucking up my light, man. Alright. There we go. And then once once you get it lit like that, that's the way it's gonna burn. And as you can see it's Seems like it's burning a little better than the other one. The other one kind of had a flicker to it. Uh, so, there you go. I mean, that one's not bad. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason why you can't, you know. But if you can see up here at the top, let me zoom in here a little bit. Now, the other one had a little bit of smoke, too. This one's got, well, let me move my cigarette. That might, that might help here. Can you see? There's just a little bit of smoke. Just right off of there. Just a tiny bit. Now it could be dust burning off of it too because this is the first time I've had it lit in over a year and the last time I lit it, um, I'm trying to stay close to the camera so I can get both microphones but the last time I lit it, 
I just let it to see if it worked and it did so I said well we're gonna have to get some mantles and I never did well it turns out her dad has two or three packs so that's another lantern we'll have to get out it's going to need a globe okay um, it is a propane bottle lantern so we'll put a new globe and mantles in it but there you go guys I mean that's burning great in fact the smoking has stopped up there on the top maybe just a slight bit so but probably just dust and you know oil stuff off my fingers you know uh, I can't smell it I can't smell any difference while they're burning so yeah it's safe just with anything you know just just make sure that you have good ventilation okay guys so there you go we did both of those I told you it was easy we did both of them it is now 1.02 a.m. One o two a.m. So about a half an hour. We did both of them and we were talking, taking our time. So say 15 minutes really. Um, so that's what I wanted to explain about that dual fuel, them tanks. Um, they're solid they you know they'll hold it if they hold pressure they're gonna hold that fuel in there um, you can I'm gonna have to clean the globe on that one and it would actually look pretty nice you can um, you can run unleaded gasoline in them um, you don't have to run the higher octane just regular what is it 89 octane just the cheapest stuff you can get running there and it'll be fine you just got to be careful but you have to be careful with the Coleman fuel as well that's why they come in metal cans because they it is every bit as volatile as this like I said I have run it in an internal combustion engine with no issues in fact when we pulled the plug it actually ran cleaner than uh, the gasoline because we pulled the plug out and we cleaned it okay because it was you know sooty it was black colored we put the plug in we run that tank of um, of uh, white gas Coleman fuel in it and it ran fine till it ran out of fuel and when we pulled the plug it was clean it, it almost looked like he was burning alcohol in it almost um, but like I said I didn't notice the difference it didn't give it any more power it didn't give it less power it ran just fine but that stuff's expensive for the gallon, you know, by a gallon. Uh, you can get, you know, well, around here, most places, around two something, you know, 250, 240 for a gallon. And, you know, a gallon of gasoline would last you all summer with, with one of them things. So, um, you know, Just make sure you wipe it off when you after you fill it. Make sure you didn't leak anywhere. Make sure your valve's not leaking or spitting fuel. If it is, your valve needs clean, which we'll get into that um, on another episode. Uh, we'll get into, I'll just show you how to clean because I think uh, monkeys needs to be clean. So we'll take it apart sometime and we'll clean it. Just make sure you do that. Some pipe cleaners, whatever. Um, Q-tips cotton swabs whatever you want to call them clean it out real good and you shouldn't have an issue but yes that's what the dual fuel means anyway guys thanks for hanging out with me late this this friday night um when you see this it'll be saturday morning well technically it's already saturday morning so it's not supposed to rain today so i got some things to do i gotta finish that um the uh whatever the hell you call it that saturn it's a saturn view I gotta finish that. Um, they didn't have the right. Went back to get the the part, and they didn't have they didn't have it in stock. Even though I was told they had three of them, all three of them was the same as the one we had. And the guy said he thinks it was boxed wrong, so I think he ordered the same number. Now, if he thinks it was boxed wrong and it wasn't, he's going to get the same one, which is going to be the wrong one. So hopefully I can get that going tomorrow. I'm going to 
um, one of the new tents, the last one we set up, the uh, Hillary, we're going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, scotch guard it, make sure it's no leaks, because I'm pretty sure it's going to leak Sat or Sunday, or it's going, I'm pretty sure it's going to rain Sunday, but it's not supposed to rain today. Now, um, perfect situations, when you do that, you usually want 48 hours, but I know when I, when I waterproofed the, uh, the teepee tent, um, it was raining, I don't know, 14, 16 hours later, it was raining, and it was fine, but it says you should wait 48 hours, so if you can, you can, but if you can get it overnight, if you can get it to, uh, you know, overnight without it raining, um, fine. Uh, I like to do it when it's set up. I know the top, the roof is hard to get to, but, um, it just, if, if you, uh, because, but I do it when, when they're set up because that way it, it will, um, you can cover everything really well on it. So, um, if, it, if you do it when it's taken down, you might get a wrinkle while well, there's going to be a spot that wasn't covered. So. Anyway, we can talk about that more later. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll film some of that for you. We'll see. Okay, so anyway, guys, again, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, that little, I can see the, you know, the things moving, the analog-looking things moving on the, on the, uh, on my screen here. It keeps drawing my eyes to it. It's for the mic. Let me know the mic's working. But anyway, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Again, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. Appreciate it. I'm going to have a cold beer, finish my cigarette. I'm going to edit this video so you guys can enjoy it, hopefully. And hopefully this will help and maybe someone can learn something from it. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. One thing I never did do was try out this spotlight outside for the night vision. So let's check it out and turn it on and see how well it does. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is, that's clear across the street. Right there's the mailbox. See, that's clear across the street. I'll kick off a night vision, just so you can see the difference. Okay, that's regular mode. Now let's kick it on to night vision. That's amazing. Like I said, hell, that's clear across the street. There's our truck. There's the Ford. Wow. Yeah, this spotlight really works. This is really good for uh, outside for if we are, you know, I think I just felt a raindrop. That looked wet. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so, that's amazing. Now, I haven't, I haven't, it looks like the batteries might be going a little low now. I have not charged these batteries since I've had this light. But, again, yeah, this is, that's amazing. Okay, just want to share that with you guys. We'll do some more work. Yeah, see it's starting to blink. Yeah, it does that when the batteries are going dead to let you know. Replace me. So, we'll do some more experimenting with this thing. There's the moon up there. That's off of night vision. So. Almost a full moon. Should be a full moon tomorrow night. Okay, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.